is just wanted to work through one of these uh, probability questions. I thought it might be useful, and I was just figuring it out this morning. So I just want to walk, work through one, and then hopefully you guys can find it useful as well. Uh, okay, so here we go. So I'm looking at the exam, practice exam question, question number 20. A test to see whether you suffer from malaria is blah, 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 blah. And then so we are given the sensitivity is 0.7 up here, 0.7. Hopefully you can see all this. It's not too blurry. Okay, 0.7, and then we have the, the specificity is 0.8, and we have the prevalence, which is probability of Z is 0 0.1, 1 divided by, sorry, 10 divided by 100, right? Okay, so what we asked to find is the probability that given that Angela tested positive, what is the probability that she does not suffer malaria? So not Z. Right. OK, so instead of trying to, trying to remember all these equations, I thought I think it's easier if we just just remember the one thing, right, which is the Bayes rule. Right. And we know. So if we just say call this A and call this B, then all of a sudden it's more familiar. Right. So this can we can say this that we can write this out as probability of A given B is the probability of B given A. Oops. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay, probability of B given A times the probability of A, right, divided by the probability of B. So now it's pretty familiar. Now we can just plug in the Z's and T's, right? So we know, okay, so probability of A, B is T, probability of T is not Z times the probability of A is not Z divided by the probability of T. Okay, so now instead of, instead of remembering the big S equations, it's pretty annoying, right? So we can just now look at this and say, okay, the bottom part of the equation is just expanding this out, right? So we can say, okay, so what does that mean? Well, this part is how, in what ways can T be true, right? So we can write this out as probability of Z given T is probability of T given not Z times the probability of not Z divided by all the ways that T can be true, right? So T can be true if someone has the disease and it's the test is positive or someone doesn't have the disease and the test is also positive, right? So probability of test is positive and someone actually does have the disease, sorry, doesn't have the disease, doesn't matter, which is basically this up here, right, times the probability of actually not having the disease, plus the probability that someone doesn't have the disease, sorry, someone has the disease and the test says, yep, they do, times, times the probability of C. Okay. Right? That makes sense to just split this up, say, in what ways can T be true? Well, someone can not have the disease and the test can be positive. Someone can have the disease and the test can be positive. Those are the only two ways that this can be true, right? So we just have those two parts. Makes sense, right? Okay. So now, what else do we need? So I think the, the, easiest thing, the easiest thing to do is sort of invert all of these things and get what well, we get some stuff ready already, get some stuff out. I, in advance, right? So probability of not having the disease is one is one minus probability of having the disease, which is in this case would be 0 0.9, right? And then we can do, so, we, and you also know that sensitivity, we can rewrite this in probability terms, right? We can say that the probability of getting a positive test while actually having the disease, right? How good is your model at picking up true true results, right? How good is your model at picking out people who actually have the disease? Okay, so and then the specificity is the probability 
Uh, how good is your test at picking up people who don't have the disease? So someone do, so how good is it saying, nope, you don't have the disease, right? So we can we can do this. We can say one minus the probability of t given z is equal to the probability of not t given z. So, you know, this is saying probability of not having a positive result on your test given that you have the disease. So that's, that'll be one minus this. So that'd be 0 0.3, right? And then we can, fill, we can do the same thing here. One minus probability of not t given not z is the probability of t given not z. Right, makes sense. Probability of one minus the probability of getting of true negative is the probability of getting a positive result and you're not having the disease, right? So that's uh, one minus point eight, so zero point two, right? Okay, so once we have this, it's just a matter of plugging and chugging everything, right? Hopefully that's clear. Then now you can just put this spot down here, and then you can just plug things in and you get the answer. So we can say probability of not z given t is equal to, so we need probability of t given not z. So do we have this somewhere? Probability of t given not z, uh, where is that? I, here we go, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 times probability of not z, which is up here, 0 0.9 divided by uh, probability of, so same, you just repeat the same thing, it's the same thing up here, 0 0.2 times 0 0.9 plus probability of t given z, which is your sensitivity, right? And that's 0. Point, it's up there, 0. 0.7 times 1 minus, sorry, uh, times your prevalence, 0. 0.1, right? And that should give you 0. 0.72. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful. Took me a second to figure that out today. Um, okay, uh, good luck with your exams, guys.